tell you all about that. Jaime Garza is joining us now live. He's at the station with all the details. Jaime? That's absolutely right. Fans of FM 101.9 have been rallying all day today. Now they are holding a vigil. There are about 35, probably 40 people here. Earlier today, there were 100. The candles down here, look at the signs up here. This is a way for them to show support to a station that by the end of next week will end up being the next Los Angeles Spanish language radio station. And then over here, the music that these folks love to sing and hear on the radio. These folks, as well as the people who work on the radio station, say it's so hard to say goodbye. LA's finest rock, FM 101.9. That's a phrase you'll no longer hear as of Midnight Tuesday. The alternative rock music played on this station the past two and a half years will be silenced. I'm Terry Gladstone, and as you know, we play bootlegs, we play out of print things, we have our ways. The thing that makes this station so special is that people like Sting, Tori Amos, The Wallflowers, Lyle Lovett, they all come and perform in this little music hall. I mean, this is it. This is a space. It's a hallway between the studio and offices, and these people come and perform here. To its followers, most of which are upscale baby boomers, the format change is equated to a cultural loss. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You will be missed. I love you all. Thanks for the music. I'll miss you, staff. KSCA number one. Fans of 101.9 have been in denial, but the countdown to the end is drawing near, and now they stand vigil. I've been taping it, and taping it, and taping it. I've gone through 10 tapes, so that ought to last me six months. <laughs> so when it's off the air, you'll be able to listen. Yeah. It's a kitchen that the organizers of this event have created for us to fill out. They're going to send us to the major radio stations in L.A. to try to convince them to adopt the AAA format. Think of a song that you totally associate with the station. The phone lines are jammed. I know, it's a great team. Today, the listeners are programming the tunes. It doesn't have to be on sales charts. It doesn't have to be researched. You know, it's just, it just comes down to what people feel passionate about. I am sorry that your station's going away, and I sympathize with them. I have people, co-workers, that listen to the station. And we certainly think it was a great radio station, but we also think that LA needs another full coverage um, FM Spanish station. I'll miss you. Love you. Thank you so much for listening. Enjoy. Bye. Well, what a fitting song, uh, Till the Music Died, as you can hear in the background here. The reason this station is changing its format is that it's been sold to a company that owns one of the top-rated Latin stations in the country, which broadcasts K-Love out of Hollywood. But I'll tell you, the fans here say they will do whatever it takes to keep that music alive. They're going to be handing out these uh, petitions, hoping that there is another radio station somewhere in Los Angeles that will pick up this format for them. Otherwise, I guess... They'll just have to sing their own tunes for now. Morning Live from Burbank, I'm Jaime Garza. Dave and Gay back to you in the studio. Jaime, good story. And you should know that Gay Yee is the biggest fan of KSCA radio. And She'll miss bummed. it too. <laughs> yeah. no, she's not alone. Yeah. She's not alone. Thanks a lot, Jaime. You bet.